Turning now to our forecast. This is a live look over Mount Clemens. Look at how beautiful that looks. A little bit of the glowing lights there on the camera for you. Don't let it deceive you though. It's pretty, but it is cold and we have a little bit of a wintry mix on the way. And for that, we're going to send it to Halley Vogel. And I park outdoors, so yeah, it's going to take some time to get that frost off the windshield Ooh, this morning yeah. if you're headed out early. So just make sure you warm up the car. It is a cold start. Seasonable finish though. So we're talking temperatures anywhere from the upper 20s to low 30s, and that's pretty close to what we typically see for this time in January. And then we'll start to warm up even more so, believe it or not, through the overnight hours. It's going to complicate things though. So as we go through the evening, we're going to see a wintry mix develop, some sleet, rain, or even some snow trying to mix in. And then as temperatures rise overnight, it'll start changing over to scattered rain showers, but then temperatures drop during the day tomorrow. So we start in the 30s tomorrow, end in the 20s. You know how that goes. You prepare for that morning temperature, and then you end up, wow, it's cold by the end of the day. And that's what we're in store for tomorrow. Nine degrees for you in Redford, 14 in Southfield, Plymouth, seven, Novi also at seven degrees. So we're seeing some of these single digits to teens. It is five degrees Lake Orion right at that zero mark in KPAC and 10 degrees Port Huron. So we don't even have to really talk about wind chills when our temperatures are this cold, but you can imagine even a light wind impacts us. So our wind chills are close to zero in most locations. We have a winter weather advisory from Grand Rapids Battle Creek to Jackson for the same system we're talking about for the evening, bringing that freezing potential and some icing on area roadways. So if you're traveling this evening, especially if you're traveling westward, maybe you're headed toward Grand Rapids or the Battle Creek area, just be aware of that. It gets worse as the evening wears on. It'll come up from the south southwest as we head through the evening and overnight hours. Our temperatures today we top off. It's going to be a late day high. So we talk about 32 degrees. This is going to be in the evening. So most of the afternoon, our temperatures will be in the mid to upper 20s. And then, of course, our wind chills in the teens for a good part of the day, too. So I know I've been talking about a quote warm up. All I'm saying is it's better than yesterday. Not quite where we want to be probably for most people, but sunshine will carry us through the afternoon. But by the time we get to about six o'clock, just watch for the onset of this wintry precip seven o'clock onward and temperatures will start to rise to near that freezing mark. Once we get above that, it'll start changing over to rain closer to about 10 or 11 o'clock. Here's our hour by hour forecast looking great though for the afternoon as far as staying dry. This is 6 p.m. from Lansing down toward the Jackson area. It pushes eastward by about 8 p.m. So I am anticipating things to start really kind of becoming a little more widespread by 8 o'clock and then in through the evening rest of the evening until about midnight. Notice midnight Ann Arbor to Detroit starts to change over to rain to the north though could stay as a mix or a little bit of light snow. As far as icing concerns, yeah, we could certainly see a glazing on area roadways a little bit more to the west toward Jackson and Lansing. So just be aware of that from Detroit down to Monroe, probably your best bet for a little better conditions. 37 and falling tomorrow 20. That's it for highs Monday and